we're going to install a different desktop. We installed KDE when we originally did this, but we're going to install another graphical desktop so we can play with and explore. To do that, we need to go to Yast again. So you can either type it in here and browse to find it. Yast. And then we're going to do a software, software management. And depending on your environment, you don't have to do this or not, but before I do anything, big installs, I like to make a snapshot. Um, so we're going to do, I have, VirtualBox. So if you have the same thing, you can follow along. I'm going to do a take a snapshot, and we're going to call this GNOME. And you can see it's take a snapshot. We'll let that finish out. In the meantime, there it goes. Done already. We're going to go view patterns. And in here you see you have GNOME Desktop. You can hover over them and read them, or you can grab a little sidebar here somewhere. There we go. Drag it over. And what we want is basic. So that's what I'm going to install for this one. Now you can see there's different desktop environments. Um, the most common two are GNOME and KDE. And we'll hit accept. And it'll tell you about all the automatic changes. And we're going to let it do its thing. I don't want anything special here. It knows better than I do what to install. So, unless there's a problem or a reason why to deselect something, I wouldn't do it. And continue. This part here might take a few minutes, so I'll we'll speed this up. Installation report successful. And it's actually quicker than I thought it was going to be. Just over three minutes. And I'll click finish. And I'm going to want to reboot for good measure. You can see we're still in KDE, so how do we get to use GNOME? Alright, so it turns out that I have my desktop set up to auto login. If I didn't have it that way, I'd be at the login prompt and I'd see the option to change desktop. So let's log out. And we 
right down here. You can see that we're using uh, Plasma X11, it says. That's the KDE desktop. And we are going to switch to GNOME. Let's log in there. right away that it's different it says right here inside the splash page now you're working in gnome well we can close this all right you can see there's no little susa icons down here for like the windows bar that comes up so uh, how do you work in gnome well there's the activities which shows you these programs that you have here. And here is your power off, log out, settings, all from the top right drop down, right here. So it's a little, a little counterintuitive to me. Uh, that's why I prefer KDE. And uh, to get back to KDE, we're going to just log back out again. Log out. And log out. So now at this point I know it works. I'm going to switch my desktop back to X11 Plasma, which is KDE. Plasma right there. All right. So we know everything's working. So I would suggest if you have a snapshot to get rid of it now. And uh, we shut down. Say okay. And from here, you can see our snapshot is still running. So we're good to go, everything's working, so we're gonna right click on it and we're gonna delete the snapshot. If we want to revert back, we would just restore. But we're just gonna delete it, get rid of it. No need to keep it out there. See that's deleting, all done, no snapshots remain. All good. If you're not subscribed, then be sure to subscribe and click the bell to get notifications. Hope this helps. Thank you.